It's got a new delivery. I'm very excited because I think it is the micro air abrasion kit I've been waiting for. Yep. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, it's so shiny. <laughs> this is the Vanyman Pro Blast. Cool, it's come with some aluminium oxo that I can use. So this is the container that you fill up with your media and then you control the flow of it with this pedal over here. It leaves you with both hands free to work on the fossil. So let's get this set up and give it a go. I've got a few fossils that I want to try this on. The yellow pipe on the left here is compressor air, so that comes from the compressor. It will drop out some of the water, the moisture in the air in that first regulator. Then it goes into my desiccant beads. They sort of like a, a dark blue and turn pink if they get moisture in them. Then you just pop them in the oven for a while. Then that pipe over there goes out and that goes into the pro blast. So it connects up here in the pro blast through this regulator, which is why I will control the, the power of the pro blast. There's the nozzle from the ProBlast, that line goes to the nozzle. I've got a sandblasting cabinet here. With the nozzle inside. So that's my sandblasting nozzle from the ProBlast. And it's got these <laughs> gloves that you put your hands in. And it's controlled by the foot pedal. When you step on it, the air in the media comes through. and you let go, it stops. Now we just need to go fill up this container. Uh, with something between 50 and 100 microns. I'm going to try dolomite and I couldn't find any dolomite online so we're going to go sift our own dolomite. Here's a fossil I've been keeping for when I get an air abrasion unit. It's a crab, but it's got all these weird like growths on top of it. I don't know if it's like a coral or a bryozoan or what's going on there. You can see the rock's not flaking away, it's kind of stuck to that carapace. Let's go give that a try. That was actually so much fun. If you enjoy pressure washing, you'll love working with a micro air abrasion setup. And it's giving such good results. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera, but look at the detail on that claw over there. And it's a really difficult crab to work on. It's full of iron pyrite. If you look there at the back there, that's all iron pyrite, fool's gold. And it's throughout this, this crab over here, although that... All that veining over there is full of iron pyrite. But look over there, it's, it's bringing out that coral, whatever it is, so beautifully. Just look at the detail over there. This dolomite is working wonders.
I only spent about 20 minutes working on this crab and I was focusing on the back over here and then on this claw I showed you. That's really looking beautiful. If you look down here, that bottom part of the claw that's sticking out, that was under the sediment or under the matrix before I started working and that probe last, it was able to blow it away. So just with that dolomite, even here on the side I was working away a little bit there. Just look at that detail. But yeah, this this claw over here, <laughs> that's so cool looking. I was working away at about 70 PSI. I can take it up to 90 I think on that machine. And the next step would be to try different media. So we've got aluminium oxide here. And then I've got some iron powder. Interested to see how the iron powder works. What I'll do with this crab is I'll just remove a little bit more inside here with the air scribe and then come in with the micro air abrasion. Give it that really nice finish. Man, that's looking good. Now we've got three methods of prepping. We've got the air scribe for the bulk removal and for uh, fossils where there's really good separation. We've got the acid for bone where there's not good separation. Now we've got the air abrasion unit for um, things like this crab where you know it's sticky but you can't pop in an acid because it's going to dissolve the crab as fast as it's going to dissolve the matrix. I'm recording this segment a little bit later than the rest of the video because I just got an email from Bannyman and they said they'll give us 10% discount if you use the link in the description of this video. So go down there and there's a link that will give you a 10% discount on that Probos Plus which makes it quite affordable. If you're not using the link down below on their website you can also use the voucher code MAMLAMBO which is pretty exciting. I've never had a voucher code and you can also try that out on their supplier website. So not just their USA website but go try it out in your country. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you on the next hunt. Stay safe out there.